Hey, wait, wait, welcome back to Spider Attack, everybody. Today uh, is a little bit of like a channel update video for you. So, recently we finished our rain code series, and people are probably wondering what we're gonna do next. You know, it's a little bit odd that we haven't um, asked like normal what game you want us to play next, and I'll just cut to the chase. That's pretty much because we're not really planning on doing another Let's Play. At least not at the moment. As much as I love recording Let's Plays and stuff, I've personally come to sort of a similar mental space with it that Ethan is in, which is basically, I'm just kind of bored of working on them and like editing them. It's pretty much the same thing every single time. Like every time I go to edit a video, I mean, I've already seen it. I already know what happens in the video. Um, and you know, it's always fun, like the first few episodes for a series, cause it is something new, but then it does just get monotonous after a while. Once you get past like part 10, it's just like, oh, Another rain code video, another rain code video, another rain code video. But it wouldn't even matter what series it was. It could be my most favoritest game of all time. And it would still be that way. Um, there's always going to be some episodes that are more entertaining to edit than others just because of like the commentary differences and whatnot. But ultimately, it's always going to be the same a lot of the time. Well, I need to get this guy in the game to shut up. You can't hear the game because I didn't want to set that up, but... Anyway, yeah, that's the biggest reason for why we've decided to make this change is just we're tired of editing these super, super, super long Let's Plays. And as much as I would genuinely love to play a lot of the games you guys have recommended, you know, I, I know people want to see us play like Your Turn to Die, Ace Attorney, Persona 3, like all these games, you know, and I would love to. They all look like fantastic games. But it's simply uh, simply not really feasible for us at the moment and not really what we want to do. We, we started this channel and we didn't exactly want to do just Let's Plays like the whole time anyway. It just kind of turned out that way and it was fun. It probably turned out that way because it got somewhat decent views and it was fun. But, you know, I think we're both just ready to move on. Ethan already has. He did a few months ago. Uh, he stopped editing Rat Attack videos and went and started editing his own videos. You can find those on the channel. I'll put the, the link as always in the description of these videos. Uh, kind of forgot to do that for a long time, but I put them in all the descriptions recently. But basically, that's the biggest reason. There's so many other kinds of videos me and him both want to make. Uh, he makes more like like video essay type videos where he talks about things he likes, things he's interested in, and he does quite a bit of like editing on them and makes them really funny and entertaining. Um, definitely, he is not holding a gun to my head forcing me to say this, I just actually think that. But while the first one he made wasn't anything special, like with each one he's made it's improved a lot. And ever since I've just kind of been working on Let's Play videos for the most part, I did make some like cool Danganronpa, how long would the cast survive type videos, and those did honestly really well, um, so thank you for that. And it's probably going to be more of those kinds of videos you start seeing on this channel, because that's the stuff, I mean it's not really about the views or about like the number of people watching per se, it's mostly about like how much fun we're having with it, because this is like a passion thing for us, but I mean if we can get lots of views and have fun with it because those videos were quite frankly quite a lot of fun to make um why would i not do that <laughs> you know man get, get get your subtitles out of here bro what the what they were already off whatever ignore those guys so yeah and there is one other reason we're stopping doing let's plays and that's because i'm probably going to be moving soon and I'm going to be moving about a little over an hour from where we're at currently. So it would not be feasible at all to still like record Let's Play videos in person. And the quality just drops when we aren't doing them in person. Like, for one, we can't like directly engage with each other. Like, you never see our rats looking over at each other or anything because we're not in the same building. And also there's like a little bit of delay between like the screen share and like the discord call. It's just, it it's, turns it just a tiny bit less quality than I feel like it is normally. And actually that's another, another reason why I've 
kind of wanted to lean away from Let's Plays is because of the quality. Um, because I've been editing them on my own recently, the quality has dropped a little bit in order to uh, keep them coming out at a consistent level. Otherwise, you know, you'd only be getting like one a week. Because I like, you know, prettying up the Let's Play videos. I like giving them some good editing treatment, doing lots of zoom ins on the rats and like coming up with some funny edits for videos. I did a lot of stuff like that during like Danganronpa V3 and Persona 5. I loved, you know, looking back at the video I had made and thinking of all the edits I put in and how funny I think the overall video was. It did make the experience more enjoyable for me too. Um, but with Rain Code, I've pretty much just been doing cut and dry basic editing where I cut out like the silences and I might zoom in on the rats talking once or twice a video maybe. Um, I'm really not looking back at the videos I've made recently, the let's play ones anyways, and been very proud of them. I, I want to go back to being proud of the videos I'm making and I want to go back to like enjoying every step of the process. So as for what kinds of videos you're going to start seeing on this channel again, probably expect like kind of stuff like our more successful videos. So like, for example, during Danganronpa V3, we made some sometimes funny, sometimes a bit cringy in hindsight skits, but like one of those skits did really, really, really well. It's just kind of like this dumb thing where like Maki drinks muse bathwater or something like that but anyway we uploaded it as a short and it did pretty well and it was really fun to make too like i think it got like 50 60 000 views so that's like an example of a type of video that genuinely worked for us and was really fun to make other ones recently have been those like dang and rampa x rim world videos where i make all the characters and see how long they can survive and what goofy shenanigans they get up to expect more stuff like that like i'm not just gonna go milking the stuff that works all the time it's always going to be an idea that i think sounds fun like i said we want to make sure we're having fun on this channel and that it's like constantly a passion thing for us i think me and ethan both hate the whole like needing to max out the engagement and algorithm you know to get maximum views on a video or whatever so more like kind of videos like that you might be able to see like i, I have ideas for more stuff like that Plus, you might just see more videos where it's kind of similar to the Let's Plays, but we just do one-off videos. You might see a lot more of that now. Um, in case anyone was worried like, oh no, there's not going to be any more Ethan on this channel or something like that. No, I'm sure there's still going to be plenty of Ethan on this channel. Uh, I want to do stuff like play horror games together and like fun indie games, maybe PvP games, maybe come up with challenges to do in games. Just whatever ideas sound fun. Um, Besides that, I mean, here's a couple other video ideas that I've like kind of already started working on that I'm not going to promise they'll be done. I mean, I might scrap the video if I stop having fun with it. But for example, I have one video I've been working on where I'm talking about an anime I like, kind of like a video essay -y type thing like Ethan makes. And then in another one <laughs> has to do with the rain code. Like uh, we finished that game recently and you know, we we make fun of that game quite a bit. And so I wanted to try making a video where it's basically like, I rewrote Rain Code and made it better. Um, and I basically, the idea of the video is that I try and write a brand spanking new original chapter to go in Rain Code and see if I can make one that has zero plot holes, you know, wonderful story to it and everything i don't know how fledged out that video is going to be or if i'll even finish it i'll admit i've like started coming up with the ideas for like the murder and whatnot and it is kind of difficult like i won't even lie but it is fun to work on again like i i just want to spend more time on these videos and like i said with me moving it's definitely be like youtube in general is going to become more of a thing where it's a hobby rather than like a career pursuit. Like having it as like a, this is what I want to do for a job in the first place is highly unrealistic and kind of dumb. And like, we've always known that, right? I mean, we can't help that it's the dream we've both always shared basically, but that doesn't make it any more realistic. Still though, I want to continue working on it on like a consistent basis. And I want this to be like my main hobby. I've tempered 
my expectations at ever being like a multi-million subscriber channel that gets like millions of views honestly i was happy i like probably the happiest i've been on this channel and the most content and most fun i've had with it was during probably dang and rampa v3 a because that was just a really good game really fun to play really fun to edit we were both still working on it we kind of we did some funny stuff with the editing sometimes we came up with this fun like rat attack theater idea where we made, made like funny funny ending skits and like other ideas at the end of videos sometimes and we were just we were just having fun with it that was just like a good solid experience and um i forgot my point i'm not gonna lie Oh, what the heck was I talking about? <laughs> I need to like go back and review the footage as to what my point was because I was getting I was getting somewhere I was like about to say something and then I forgot what it was I, I guess where I was going with it is now that I've tempered my expectations with it And I'm treating it more as just like a hobby, you know, what video idea sounds fun? What do I want to work on right now? I don't want to stress myself out with like deadlines and stuff either like having to always 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 no exceptions well sometimes exceptions because i got a little less strict with it recently but needing to have let's play videos out like at a certain time on certain days like without exception it it, it didn't get like stressful but it did just get to a point where it's like i would rather work on something else right now but i kind of have to work on this like oh boom all of a sudden i'm feeling all this motivation and inspiration to work on this cool video but guess what you have to work on rain code right now which is just kind of like a oh okay <laughs> you know i don't even mind like working on let's play videos in general like one here and there i would not be against like i said i'm gonna continue doing or i think i said this already i don't know well, we're planning on finishing ultra despair girls uh because that's a fun game and whatever um but i'm not gonna promise it at like any consistent upload schedule i'm gonna hope it's gonna be more consistent than it's been because it's been like a month between episodes like a lot recently which i don't particularly like and i doubt you guys particularly like but um you know that just might be a thing that happens sometimes i'm not gonna promise you that that won't happen again i'm gonna say yeah i'd like to try <laughs> to have them out more consistently but um you know, we have personal lives and stuff too, and especially with me moving now, I'm I'm like going, like I said, like an over an hour away. Like I think it's like an hour and twenty minutes. Um, I'm gonna be working more uh, more hours at like an actual job because I'm gonna be paying my own rent and stuff like that. Th that's like a whole thing of my life on its own. I, I might go into that more later in this video, but yeah. So. TLDR on this section, what to expect in the coming however much time of Rat Attack. You know, I'd love to continue doing Let's Plays one day, uh, but it'd probably have to be to the point where we'd need to like hire an editor or something, because I know neither of us want to edit that many Let's Play videos, you know? Um, so the day we can hire an editor, I would love to like go back to doing like at least five days a week, or like not at, at least, but like hopefully like a five day a week schedule where like five days a week we can have like let's play videos coming out but yeah i'm not gonna give any promises on like consistency of uploads or even like type of uploads on this channel it's just gonna be whatever sounds fun for us i want it to go back to being like a passionate fun thing and for the record i don't regret anything of like the last two years of this channel at all it's been fun i've enjoyed all the games we've played we've done a lot of other kinds of videos as well that have been interesting <laughs> um you know i loved like the first two halloweens we did doing like a halloween week where we play like a bunch of horror games and carve pumpkins and stuff unfortunately we weren't able to do that this year i'm still hoping to have some sort of halloween special it's probably just going to be really late to be honest because quite frankly i already bought the supplies to do it so i still want to do it and then you know we just had we've had a lot of random video ideas over the last two years also like I remember like some examples early on we did like an AI art guessing challenge where one of us would put a prompt into an AI art generator and the other person would try and guess what the prompt was that the other person put in and like the loser had to drink some strange concoction that the winner made. <laughs> that was just like a dumb like 
type of silly video we made early on and then you know later on we have more videos like like I know during our persona series we kind of did it with an AI a storytelling robot where we got this AI website to create a story with Persona 5's characters and then I like edit it into a really funny like I, I like use their sprites and I do like a bunch of effects on screen it's very highly edited and chaotic and crazy that was fun to make we've just had so many weird ideas and I want to go more into that category so yeah expect stuff like that random one-off videos random goofy videos as for like the me moving part it's kind of related decently to youtube i guess basically anymore like especially like recently with raincoat and like ethan just kind of doing his own thing which again i do not blame him for i think that's a thing that would have happened either way for either of us if ethan didn't like make that call and be like i'm gonna go work on my own videos i think i would have eventually so i'm not like upset by that or anything but him leaving definitely did take a lot of the energy and passion i did have out of the channel and yeah the like last few months since then have just been kind of dragging on it's really felt like my life's just been monotonous and routine lately wake up go to work come home edit next day day off edit all day go to bed wake up go to work come home edit and like repeat you know um and it's not like i'm saying i'm like depressed or anything because i'm not i think i'm a hard person to wear down like that you know i'm a pretty content like mentally healthy person i think but even still i have my limits and i'm just kind of tired of looking at the same four walls every day doing the same thing like i don't have a huge social life outside of this you know this has been my hobby my passion for like years now and i dedicate so much time and like effort into it and like i said i don't regret a minute of it but i do think it's time i make a change for the better and you know i kind of had this realization with it too i, I realized that Regardless what kinds of videos I'm making, even if I like blew up on YouTube. So let's say like all of a sudden all my videos that I'm making are getting millions of views, getting a ton of subscribers, and honestly I'm probably able to like pay rent or something at that point, right? Using the money solely from YouTube. Like that would be nice. That'd be like a dream come true, right? But the realization I had is that even if that were to happen and that had been like my goal, for like the last couple years i realized that there are just so many other things i want out of life that that still wouldn't get me like it's a little dumb it I, I know i was like smarter than this and this is like a very broad kind of stupid way to put it but sort of my life plan coming out of high school was like a uh, first step make it on youtube get like a millions of views and like become a millionaire on youtube you know not actually i would have been happy like minimum wage on youtube <laughs> like that's something at least but it was just kind of silly for me to have that as the step one before i could accomplish any of the other things i want out of life you know i I'd, I'd love to have like a huge friend group i'd love to go around and do more things every day i'd love to like go to the gym i'd love to visit parks i'd love to explore other hobbies besides youtube I've always wanted my life to be like an adventure, you know, I grow up playing games, watching anime, stuff like that, and I've always kind of thought like, you know, maybe I'm special, maybe one day I'll get that like, special adventure out of life, and graduating high school I kind of realized, well, it's probably not going to happen that easy, I'm probably going to need to go and seek the adventure for myself. And so I thought, what better adventure than pursuing like, your YouTube dreams, you know? But like I said, the realization lately is that it hasn't really been as much of an adventure as I'd like, I guess. Like I said, even if I made it, I'd still be looking at the same four walls every day, you know? I could move, maybe get in a different apartment, but there'd still be so many other avenues of life that I want that I'm not getting, you know? Like socially, entertainment wise like i don't really play games anymore this is the first time i've played a game playing spider-man right now on my own in like a while 
like a long while like i've done it here and there but it's never been consistent at all i always just feel like i could be like drawing right now or like working on videos or something i don't know but maybe it seems like an extreme jump like oh so you want the monotony out of your life why are you just like switching to moving out on your own like so quickly like that and I guess part of the reason for that is that I also feel like I haven't grown much as a person recently. Like, as a kid, I was always like a, a super introvert, kind of. Not like a super, super introvert, but definitely an introvert. I would always, you know, kind of sit by myself in class. I don't care about your dang stolen vehicle. You know, I was the type, like, during breaks and stuff to just sit in the corner and read a book. You know, I'd come home. I wasn't really in any clubs or sports or anything besides like one year I did track and it was okay, I guess. Uh, but I was always the type to come home and like play video games or watch anime, you know? Which part of me regrets doing now, but I also made a lot of good memories with friends doing that as well. But there came a point, you know, like kind of going into high school and stuff where I, where I got a job. And that increased my confidence by a lot, you know, it increased my understanding of the world and my ability to just go and be independent and do things on my own. Like I'm the type that like ordering something at a restaurant on my own or like driving somewhere and doing something on my own. Three years ago, that like idea probably would have scared the, it probably would have like scared me quite a bit. <laughs> I would get nervous a lot. And honestly, I still do get nervous a lot with stuff that like most people probably wouldn't. And then like YouTube helped expand my confidence even further. Like right now I'm able to talk in front of this uh, computer screen, I guess, without much, without much weirdness to it. Like I don't feel nervous or anything. I remember the first time I like turned on a camera, or not a camera, but a microphone and me and Ethan were like talking while playing a game. I think we were just goofing around on Elden Ring. And I was just kind of nervous. I remember like my heart was beating, my voice was kind of shaky. Even now, even though I'm here all on my own and Ethan's not with me, I'm less comfortable than I would be if Ethan was here with me. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not like nervous or anything. Like I'm just here chatting with the rats, you know, whatever. I don't even have to upload this. <laughs> it's different if it's live. Sometimes live stuff, I still get a little nervous, but point is, I grew a lot, like, over that course of a couple years between getting a job, starting a YouTube channel. Um, I grew a lot of skills, you know, I know how to, like, video edit now, I know how to, like, draw way better, I can kind of do, like, graphic design stuff with thumbnails. Like, I'm pretty confident in my Photoshop and Premiere Pro abilities. I also, like, rigged some VTuber model. I've done a lot of, like, weird, cool stuff. I feel confident that I can teach myself how to do just about anything now. Uh, with practice, but the last like year is kind of just been the same thing. And my dream of being like a really good, really amazing, really capable person, ha I haven't really progressed in that dream recently, you know? Because, like I said, I've just been doing the same work, edit. Sometimes the occasional random event will happen, but it's so rare because I don't really go out and give myself opportunities to get quote-unquote random events in life I just kind of do the same thing every day and as a result I've barely grown the last year from it I don't think so maybe that's why I wanted to do something extreme as moving and also because when I thought of the idea it was here like a couple of weeks ago I, I was feeling particularly inspired after watching an anime right very nerdy i know but i was in that like motivated mood i finished like the last episode or something and i was like man i feel so like so hyped like i, I wish i wish i had the confidence some of these anime characters had you know it sounds dumb but it really got me thinking for a second like because i thought about it i thought of the idea i was like what if i went and moved out and like did my own thing and just just saw how it went, you know, as like an experiment, how would I do? And the idea scared the bejesus out of me. Like I, I highly did not want to do it at all. Like it sounded kind of exciting, but I didn't want to do it in the slightest because it sounded terrifying. And it was when I realized that, that I felt it was all the more reason to go and do it, you know? 
and I haven't done it yet, so I shouldn't be talking like I'm some fulfilled person who's fulfilled their promise of moving out yet, but I have like active plans going uh, that are like the first steps to moving out, you know? Like tomorrow I'm getting my car worked on because uh, it's like, like I said, like an hour and some minutes away, I'm probably going to make like a trip or two or three to like, well, first I'm going to travel there, not this Thursday, but next Thursday, just to make sure it's a place I actually do want to move and aren't going to like hate. And then I'm going to have to like go there to scout out apartments and stuff. And then I'm going to have to actually like move my stuff like a trip or two. I needed some like car repairs. So we got that scheduled. Um, anyway, I got the plans underway. All that's next is like to do it, but I'm highly confident I'm going to hold myself to doing it at this point because I've like told so many people about it as like almost to pressure myself into actually doing it. Um, I was like, if I tell like everyone I know that I'm going to do this, then I'm going to look like a wimp if I don't do it. So it'll make me actually do it. So yeah, I, I wanted to do something extreme as a opportunity to grow and maybe I'll hate it. Maybe I'll love it. I don't know. I feel like just kind of the last year or two, I, I, I almost felt like I was running from adulthood a little bit. Like when I realized how nervous it made me, the premise of moving out on my own and whatever, it made me kind of realize how many other things I might just kind of skip out on because I'm nervous or something, you know? And I don't want to be like that. That's not the kind of person I want to be at all. So in order to grow and maybe in order to grow my channel, <laughs> even, I wanted to go and take the dip, I guess. I thought it sounded fun to make like a video that's like, like a moving out for the first time type video, kind of intended for people closer to my age and like the experience of moving out, like my reaction to how much everything costs and whether I'm even able to make it or not. Like, I am very curious, like with my job, like how much everything costs nowadays. I'm very curious whether I'll be at like a net loss at the end of every month of like, what I'm spending and what I'm making. Luckily, I have quite a bit saved up from the last few years I've been working. So I'm not worried about like going bankrupt or anything. I'm, I'm not gonna let myself go bankrupt or anything. But I don't know. I just kind of wanted to spread my wings. I, I absolutely did not want to be looking at the same four walls, doing the exact same schedule in a couple of years, especially considering how low the chances of like, the dreams I've been working on actually taking off. Like, not to sound pessimistic or anything, because I definitely think, you know, if I get into making the right kinds of videos that I enjoy doing and other people enjoy watching, and like, it's like an in-demand type of video, I definitely think I could make a successful YouTube channel or something. Maybe not one that necessarily pays my rent, but one that at least qualifies as like a side hustle Heck, I'd take that in a heartbeat. So yeah, I guess I've just been looking for a little bit of change in life and I would have been absolutely super morbidly depressed. Like, I'm not depressed now, but I absolutely would be if in two years I was looking at the same like daily schedule and routine and scenery that I have been lately, you know? I don't know if I have anything else to talk about. I have like a bullet point list here. Um, I'll read it off to you guys recap of how our channel has started and how it grew explain why we got bored of doing let's plays explain that on top of that i'm moving and why explain the types of videos we might do from now on what do i hope to accomplish in life maybe i didn't go that into that what i hope to accomplish in life i guess i just want to be surrounded by a lot of people i love and do things that i love doing every day or as close to every day as i can I don't care about being rich or anything like that. I just don't want to be broke. <laughs> you know, I don't want to be the type of person that has to live paycheck to paycheck. But luckily, I'm pretty hardworking and I'm not someone who has like any underlying mental issues. Ethan might argue otherwise, but I don't think I do. Um, as much as I want like a big, awesome adventure in life, or I would like love to take one, like I spent my whole childhood dreaming I'd get like superpowers or get isekai'd or something. Um, as much as I'd love that, don't get me wrong, I'm also so happy and content with just a comfortable, happy life, you know? And I just don't feel like I'm gonna get that from staying here where I'm at all the time. So that answers that bullet point. 
Uh, the other ones, what do I want out of YouTube? What do I get out of it? I guess I didn't really touch on that one either. The most, like, when I'm having the most fun with YouTube, it was like I said with Danganronpa V3. And another big factor for why I got so much enjoyment out of Danganronpa V3 was because it was our most viewed series ever. And that might sound like, what, Gage? I thought you said it wasn't about the views. That's kind of contradictory. But really, it's because the thing I that fuels me on YouTube, I guess, is stuff like the comments and seeing, because I grew up watching YouTube and watching so many other YouTubers and like getting home and being so excited to watch their videos after school and stuff. And when we get a lot of views like that, like we did on Danganronpa V3, there's so much engagement with our videos and I've genuinely gotten comments saying like, I look forward to your videos every day after school and stuff like that. Um, and, and that was really the biggest drive for me. And the thing I got the most like happiness out of doing this from like the biggest happiness punch isn't necessarily from sitting down and playing games with Ethan all night, even though that is super fun. Don't get me wrong, but it's seeing other people having fun from it too. And I'm not trying to sound like I'm some like selfless saint or anything. Cause I'm absolutely not, but I, I think that's the biggest thing my dream is about is is being that for other people being that person people can come home and look forward to watching being that person that makes people's day a little bit brighter when they hear our jokes or see a funny edit that we put into our videos that's why i haven't felt as proud as our videos lately because i don't think child me would be that excited <laughs> watching the boring rain code let's plays not just because rain code but just because our editing also on it, or my editing, it hasn't been anything special. And I feel like the commentary hasn't been as good, quite frankly, a little bit because the game hasn't been as intriguing to us. I, I just, for any future Let's Play we do do, I, I want to make sure it's high quality and that it's something that a little child gauge would absolutely love to come home and watch every day, you know? So I think that's what I want most out of YouTube more than anything. Uh, what's the next bullet point? Talk about how much I appreciate the last two years and why they are a huge important part of my life and my character. So, yeah, I guess I didn't talk about half these bullet points. <laughs> yeah, um, another big thing I want to talk about this video is just a big thank you, really. I know some people here have only seen like maybe one of our series, maybe two of them. Some of you have been here like for a long, long time watching our videos and I appreciate that so much. Um, and some of you are probably like have just kind of seen us here and there and are like, why am I watching this video <laughs> right now? <laughs> um, for you guys, it might just be like a silly YouTube video. For me, it's been the last two years, more than two years now of my life. And I mean, prior to that two years, even I spent so long dreaming about it. Any comments you guys have left and any support you've ever shown on our series genuinely means a lot to me. And, uh, well, this isn't really supposed to be the sappiest, crappiest, happiest video in the world, but I do mean it. It's like been a huge part of my life. I mean, this has been a huge chapter of my life, like post-graduation. What the heck do I do with my life? What if I make a fun YouTube channel with my bro? And you guys being a part of that is like, I mean, if no one watched these videos, it'd be such a boring, like, it would almost feel like I said, not about the views, but it would almost feel like a little bit of a waste of my life. But it hasn't felt like a waste because so many of you, I mean, we're not a huge channel by any means, but even like a few hundred of you, like watching our videos regularly, it gives it quite a bit of meaning to me. Um, so yeah, just thanks for that. Also, like I said, it's shaped me quite a bit between like YouTube improving my confidence, um, just the way I talk is different. <laughs> I think I would be curious to see how people I knew in high school would react to how I am now, but uh, yeah, they've all like already moved away. So that's another motivator for me to move away is there's no one left my age in this crappy little town I live in. It's kind of boring. Um, what's the next one? Talk about how I expected life to be one great big adventure. I kind of talked about that. Talk about how I've been running from adulthood and that's the last one. So yeah. Um, I don't think I have anything left to talk about this video. This has been my epic Rat Attack channel update. Um, regardless if you're ever going to watch a single Rat Attack video again, 
Maybe you were just here for the Let's Plays still. Big thank you for watching any of it at all and watching this video because it's literally just me swinging around on Spider-Man. <laughs> um, but yeah, wish me luck in my move. I'll let you guys know how that goes. Uh, look forward to epic future videos. Leave ideas, you know? I probably won't do any of them, but once in a while, once in a blue moon, one of you guys leaves an idea that's like, ooh, that actually sounds pretty dang fun. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Love you guys. Not really. Well, eh, depends. And I'll see you in the next video, maybe, if you decide to watch. Maybe this is your last one. Goodbye. Rest in peace, you. Rest in peace, me. And uh, I'm not good at outros. You'd think I'd be a lot better at outros after like two, two years. I've said two years a lot this video. So I'm going to make a compilation video of how many times I've said two years this video. I'm sure it's like, it's got to be like 20, at least 20. Anyways, that's it. We'll see you in the next one. Maybe. Bye-bye.